Welcome guys, so today I am with the Realme 10 Pro Plus and I'm going to show you the best features and tricks that you can use in this smartphone camera. Okay, so first of all, when you open our camera, we'll be in the photo mode. And right here you can find a few hidden options. The first one, you can use the volume buttons. They are located on the right side above the power key. And take a look. When you click once on the volume up or volume down, you can take photo. When you are going to click and hold one of these button, you will take series of the photo. So let's make it one more time. And right now, if you want to overview these photos, just open the gallery and click in the right upper corner on this gallery button. And right now, when you scroll your finger, you will find all of these photos that you take in each series. And if you want to save any of them, you can just select them by tapping on each preview and then confirm by tapping on the right upper corner. So we are going to keep only five selected photos and here they are. When you go back to the camera application, uh, we can also use the shutter button. When you click and hold it, it will work the same. So we can basically take the burst shot on the shutter and on the volume buttons. But there is also, there is also the feature on the settings when you open it then uh, we can customize the volume buttons function so we currently we can take photo of them and take the burst shot but we can also switch to use the zoom feature and it will be probably more useful because when you click and hold the volume up button you can take a zoom feature i mean you can use the zoom feature and as you can see we can zoom into the 20 times and that's by the way the quality of the maximum zoom in this phone and when you want to volume if you want to zoom out you have to click and hold the volume down button as you can see the quality is really good okay so that's how we can use the zoom feature uh, when you click once you are not going to take photo we are going to use still the zoom feature Next, we can also use the zoom feature by using this slider. So as you can see, we can go for the ultra wide lens, wide lens and the telephoto lens. But when you click and hold already selected preset, as you can see, you will unlock this slider. So you can zoom in faster than with the volume buttons. But also you will unlock these two presets. So instead of the this three, you will also get the 5x and the 10x. <clears throat> so we can decide how to use zoom feature in this phone and another option will be about the brightness level so when you click on the screen you will get this sun icon and you can decrease or increase the brightness level you can also lock the brightness by tapping on this lock and you will lock focus and also the brightness if you want to unlock just click on <coughs> other any other place on your preview and when you use this button right here we can find filters as you can see they change the color and the temperature so if you want to take photo for example with this one just click once the photo was taken and if you want to get the original look just select the first one <coughs> Next, uh, we can also click for the aspect ratio and right here you can obviously change the ratio of your camera so you can decide. For me, this one looks really cool when the full screen is with the camera preview, but you have to remember that changing the aspect ratio is also changing your photo quality. So the best option is always to stay with the 4x3, your default aspect ratio. When you tap in this place, we can use delay for our shutter and right now we can see this three second countdown on the screen and the photo was taken to turn it off just pick the first option there's also a very useful option you can find it right here that's 108 megapixel mode and with this mode we can take more we can get more details on our photos so i think that taking photo of this button 
will be really good because you can spot here some texture. I'm gonna put it a little bit closer to the camera, as you can see. So I'm gonna put it right here. And let's see how it works. So let's catch focus on it. The photo was taken and then switch for the normal photo mode. And we are going to make the small comparison. Let's see if this mode really works. So this photo was taken with normal mode. And this photo was taken with the 108 megapixel mode. And as you can see, right here we can spot more details, definitely. We can also zoom in much closer. So take a look how it looks. When we try to make the crop of this photo, let's make it. We can use the screenshot. And let's go back for this one. Right now we can open it, let's save. And as you can see, the difference is, is very big. So yeah. One more time to get more details on the photos, just try to use this 108 megapixel mode. Next, we can go for the more modes, where we can find other useful options. For example, we can try to use the dual view video mode. And right now, when you turn it on, we are able to take photos, I mean, we are able to take videos from the two cameras at the same time. Here we have the selfie camera, as you can see. And at the bottom, we can find the rear camera. You are also able to change preview of it. So we can get like picture in the picture in the right upper corner. So yeah. And you can also switch the camera's position like that. Next, we can go back for the photo mode and open the settings. And right here we can, for example, uh, enable the camera leveler and also the grid lines. And these options, these two options allows us to take better composition on the photos. As you can see, when we catch the level, we will get this yellow marking on this crosshair. And right now, if you want to get, for example, this button in the middle of your preview uh, with these lines, we are able to make it much easier. So we can make it like that. When you go back right here, we are also able to adjust the watermark. So if you are posting any photos on the social media, you can mark the photos. So that's the preview. And you can add here a lot of data actually. You can add the device model, date and the time. You are also able to adjust the font size. We can set, for example, large, and you can pick position, like you can switch from the top or the bottom. You can decide. For me, the top position looks a little bit better. And we can also add our custom signature. I'm gonna take it like that. And as you can see, when we add our custom text, we are also able to get more position so we can go top center, top right. Let's get, for example, the top center. Okay, and there's also some kind of the street mode watermark. Okay, looks cool. Uh, let's try to test this feature. We can take a photo like that of this Google phone. Or maybe we can take it like that. Okay, so as you can see, this watermark right now appears in this place. And there is the Realme signature shot by Hard Reset. That's our custom signature, the name of the device, and also date and the time.
When you want to turn it off, you can just make it simply by tapping right here. Next, we can go for the shutter methods where we can find, <clears throat> for example, tap to capture option and also show palm of the hand. And that's really great that right now in this phone, we got preview of each function because previously in the other, in the older versions of the Realme, like nine, eight or seven, you cannot find this preview. So that's great. And let me show you how it works. If you still don't know what is going on. When you activate the touch photography, you can just click on the screen once and the photo will be taken. And the selfie camera, you can just show the palm of your hand. And when it will be detected, you will find this three seconds countdown and the photo will be also taken. When you scroll down, we can also enable the quick launch option. So we can double press the volume button when the screen is turned off to open the camera in the street mode. So let's try, double time the volume down button. Okay, and it's enabled. So if you want to quickly catch any photos, when you are outside, you can make it quick. You can make it definitely qu uh, quicker than the normal option. So we can just double press the volume button and you will open the camera. <clears throat> and I think that's all. That's all features and all useful options that you can use on the camera and the Realme 10 Pro Plus. If you find this video helpful, just remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.